welcome to the home of english for english grammar and vocabulary learning today let's start a new lesson in our vocabulary session that is paronyms and homonyms these are always very confusing but let's clear all our doubts here please watch earlier lessons in the playlist let's start english vocabulary paronyms and homonyms paronyms the words which are different in meaning or use but are similar in form or derivations they are called paronyms the words which are different in meaning or use but are similar in form or derivations or origin see the example continuous continual both are of same origin but see their meaning is different continuous means without gap or break see here is a line that is continuous because there is no gap in between but continual is with occasional break see this line is broken here and there so it is continual and this one is continuous so that is a paronym these are similar in form origin or derivation but different in meaning second one childish childlike a childish is silly childlike means innocent now let's see homonyms or homophones homonyms are the words having similar sound or pronunciation but are completely different in meaning the words having similar sound or pronunciation but are completely different in meaning in both case the meaning is different but there it was the words having similar form or derivations but here it is its sound or pronunciation is diff- the same but meaning different let's see some examples right and right both are sounding the same pronunciation is same w r i t e right and r i g h t right both are sounded same same way mail m a i l mail and m a l e mail m a d e mail and m a i d mail this mail means female domestic worker both are of same pronunciation but meaning is different eight and eight eight is the past tense of eat and e a g s t eight the number eight both pronounce the same these words sound pronounce similar but mean different let's see some homonyms or paronyms first one access accession access access means approach see the example we could not access the library because the gate was locked so there is access approach accession coming to throne we must have heard the accession of the king example the accession of the prince was welcomed by all accession of the prince coming to throne excess e x c e s s excess means more than desired more than desired anything in excess is not good anything in excess is not good so there is access accession and excess second one ascent and ascent both sound the same but meaning is different a s s e n t ascent means agree the president gave assent to the new bill forwarded by the parliament we know that if any bill is forwarded by lok sabha and rajya sabha 
then president has to give the assent means the president has to agree with it so that is assent a s c e n t assent that means climb up the ascent to the hill was a difficult task the ascent to the hill was a difficult task this one is climb up third one altar 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 means change the train derailed while altering the track the train derailed while altering the track that means while changing the track but altar means different a place of worship when i stood at the calm altar of the temple i felt a heavenly bliss when i stood at the calm altar of the temple i felt a heavenly bliss so here altar means a place of worship fourth one accept accept expect accept means to take or receive accept means leaving out expect means hope see the example for accept to take or receive he accepted the failure with courage accept leaving out the boy was good at everything except studies expect means hope never expect too much from others fifth one adopt means take up adapt means adjust adapt means expert first one adopt to take up the childless couple adopted a child from the orphanage they adopted adapt adapt means adjust one must adapt oneself to the difficult circumstances so in the difficult circumstances one must adapt oneself but adapt is expert pooja is adapt in the art of painting she is very skillful in the art of painting that is adapt sixth one amicable amiable amicable means friendly amiable means lovable or obliging the two nations could not find any amicable solution to the dispute the two nations could not find any amicable solution to the dispute means they could not find any friendly solution amiable lovable or obliging being amiable she was liked by her parents very much means she was very obedient or amiable so she was liked very much by her parents seventh one accept accept concede accept means accept exceed means surpass concede means agree the manager acceded the resignation letter of the employee the manager acceded the resignation letter of the employee means he accepted it but exceed is surpass he was caught by the traffic police as he exceeded the speed limit concede means agree the boxer was not ready to concede the defeat concede means agree eighth one alteration altercation alteration means change altercation means wordy quarrel or dispute alteration the shirt was too loose so i gave it for alteration means i need to change the size of the shirt so i gave it for alteration altercation 
a wordy quarrel or dispute. The altercation between the two friends turned into a fight. There is altercation. A wordy quarrel turned into a fight. Ninth one. Opposite. Opposite. Opposite means suitable. Opposite means contrary. Opposite. He is quite opposite to the cap to be the captain of our team. He is quite opposite. He is quite suitable or apt to be the captain of our team. Opposite. Contrary. Her behavior is quite opposite to that of her brother. Her be behavior is quite opposite to the beha behavior of her brother. Tenth one. Affect. Effect. Affect is a verb means to influence or to pretend. Effect means it is a noun means the influence. Affect. The air pollution of the city badly affected the inhabitants. Effect as a noun means influence. The effect of the painkiller lasted only for two hours. So effect we use as a noun and effect we use as a verb. Both shows the influence. So these are the 10 uh, paronyms and homonyms. Now there are two questions. First one. Rahul dash the invitation to the birthday party. Options accepted, accepted. Here accepted is the right. Rahul accepted the invitation to the birthday party. Second, the two brothers had an dash over their ancestral property. Altercation, alteration. Here it is a quarrel. So this altercation. So here ends this session. If you liked, please like, subscribe and press the bell button for all notifications and share with all your friends. Thank you.